This is either a really good idea or a really bad idea. Let's find out which. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna rearrange my library. <laughs> now, I don't know if I can actually call it a library because I haven't counted my books for a while, but I don't think there's a thousand books here, which is technically what you need to have a library, but this is my personal library. So we're going with that. All of the books on these shelves are books I have read and either given four or five stars or are part of a series. Um, and I'm going to reread them. That's the criteria for me to keep books. Am I going to reread the book? If it's a yes, then that's fine. I keep it, it goes onto these shelves. Um, I have been feeling the urge to redo my bookshelves for a while, but in case you're new here, uh, we are trying to sell our house and we were in chain um, and expecting to move this summer, chain fell apart. So I'd been ignoring the urge to redo my shelves because I was like, we're moving, it's fine. We're gonna have a new setup to do soon. Uh, now that's not happening for the foreseeable. And I keep looking at my shelves and thinking, I really wanna fiddle around with them. Plus they need a blooming good clean and a kind of a sort out, etc. So that's what we're gonna do today. Um, I can't remember if I've done one of these videos before, I'll be honest, if I have I'll put it in the description, it's probably terrible, this is probably going to be a mess. Um, what I'm going to do is, I will start with an overview of these shelves, I also have some shelves up in the office, um, and my TBR shelves live in our bedroom, um, but this is my main collection. So I'll give you an overview first, so obviously I'll move you in a second and show you the shelves, and then I will put you to one side to probably do a fancy like... Uh, like fast forward thing um, so you can see me cleaning the shelves and sorting them I'm going to sort them all into genres first and then work out how to put them back on my shelves at the moment as you'll see in a second it's kind of just vibes <laughs> um, I have my hardbacks up on the shelves up here and they will probably stay up there because uh, I don't like having hardback and paperback kind of mixed in together I have my book rainbow which is going to go today I think unless I decide I want to put it back um, and then I've got a few like series that are put together, but other than that, it's all a little bit random. What I want to try and do is put them into genre. I think we're going to sort by genre and see how we go. In terms of number of books, I would suspect it's going to be literary fiction first, followed by non-fiction, then fantasy and romance, which are two genres I hardly read until this year. Uh, but I feel like I've got quite a few of those on my shelves and then other. So I guess we'll find out. Um, so yeah. Let me stop procrastinating. Let's get on with this and I will give you an overview of the books. Okay, this is what we are starting with. So this is what it looks like. I will take you over a little bit closer. So we start up here. Hello. <laughs> we start up here with my hardbacks, obviously. I'm really good at this. Um, these are all my hardbacks. So, well, most of my hardbacks, I do have a few on the lower shelves. So yeah, hardbacks live up here. They are arranged in height order. I'm gonna keep that, um, but obviously everything's gonna come off to clean anyway. And I'm gonna add some of the ones in that are on the rest of the shelves, I think. So yeah, hardbacks are up there. Then this side, you guys don't see this very often. Uh, the stack at the top here. These are my favorite books of the year so far. So each month um, I add my top book of the month. I've also got my, um, Jane Austen paperbacks and the little bell I found at an antique place on top and then I've also got this I shall be miserable if I have not an excellent library which is a Jane Austen quote that my friend Steph stitched for me years ago yes the glass is broken yes I keep meaning to get it fixed no I haven't done it next shelf down is Agatha Christie so we've got paperbacks here I love Miss Marples and working my way through the Marple series um, and then I've got the seasonal quartet here I think I'm going to move them up onto that shelf but we'll see um and then in the middle i've got the little book of proverbs which belonged to my grandpa moving down just crouching bear with uh we've got my heartstopper collection along with a couple of other graphic novels on top then my laura Olympus books and my hardback um tally hibbert books which again i think i'm going to move up onto the top shelf this collection here are my Macmillan books. They're so cute. They're all Shakespeare ones, but I think I might move them somewhere else in my house because I think I need the space. We've got my little bronze owl. And then these are books that don't fit anywhere else. These are the ones that are slightly weird size, etc. Plus a little book, uh, the little dish on top is from where we went for our honeymoon in Catalonia. Down on the left-hand side, we have our my one of my, well, our first cat, Cassidy. 
in her own that's her ashes there um and then this stack this shelf of books is my husband's but do you know what it's not moved in years so again i think i'm going to move these upstairs so this is this first shelf here Sorry, I just had to peel myself off the floor. Uh, this middle one, you can see my reflection in the TV. Hello. Uh, this middle section is my husband's. They're all of his, uh, like, photography books, uh, motorbike books, etc. They will stay where they are, although we'll give them a clean and a little bit of a tidy up. And then this shelf over here is the one that you guys see the most because it is the one um, that is behind me when I'm in my filming setup. So we've got the book Rainbow across the top, which I love, but I don't know if it's going to survive today. Uh, then the next shelf down, you've got what was my trilogy. So this shelf here, my trilogy trilogy shelf. Um, we'll see what happens to that little love sign. Then this is historical fiction. So we've got C.J. Sampson books stacked up all together. And then the Alison Weir collection um, to the right of that. And then down at the bottom, we've got my hardback um, middle grades, I guess you would call them. Absolutely gorgeous books. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with those. They might stay there, although they are getting quite sun damaged on the spines. And then this bottom shelf here, you've got the Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter trilogy. And then I just sort of filed this in my head under cosy. These are some cosy books that I've been reading. So yeah, that's the overview. This is what we're starting with. And now I'm going to take everything off, clean it, categorise it and then work out how on earth to put it back onto my shelves. Okay, so as you can see, the shelves are empty, except this one up here, which I've tidied and added a few to, and this one, which, like I said, wasn't going to change. Um, shelves are empty. Everything's been cleaned. All my books are off, which I'll show you in a second. And I'm questioning my life choices. Why did I start this? Um, I've also pulled out a few to unhaul, which is good. Just ones that I'm not going to reread, or I think somebody else would enjoy more, that kind of stuff. So, yeah, let's show you the book stacks. Okay, so we have my hardback um, middle grades and classics, a little bit of Shakespeare there as well. We've got historical over here, and then <laughs> this is where most of the chaos is. I took off all the kind of accessories and put them over here, so I've got loads of like bookends and all the random bits that I've already shown you. And then I've stacked everything. As expected, lit fic is my most read genre or my most saved genre followed by middle grey i'm uh, not middle grade non-fiction got quite a bit of cozy agatha christie a little bit of romance a little bit of ya yeah you can kind of see i've got a fair amount of middle grade a few thrillers a little bit of horror and some classics so yeah i now need to work out how i want to put all of these back onto here wish me luck Okay, so this is what I have landed on for now. It looks so different. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Can't lie. Not a big fan of change, but we will try it and see. I'll show you like a bit of a close up in a second. But yeah, this is what it looks like all together uh, right now. Okay, so this is the hardbacks up here. Uh, I mostly, like I said, just cleaned them, slightly altered the order, added in my um, tally hibbets and my hardback uh what is her name agatha christie Ag agatha christie so i think that's looking pretty tidy i've left my best my top reads of the year um stack up here but kind of cleared off the rest then we come down into literary fiction i've kind of still kept them in, in a kind of rainbow um and i've also moved my austin quote down then we've got the jane austen stack on the left hand side here with my classics 
Then we're down into, oh, sorry, just getting onto my knees. Uh, then we've got horror and thriller on that side. And then those are the kind of the ones that don't really fit anywhere. So I've left that stack where it is. And then down, I've put Cass back in her spot. And then that's the YA on my shelf right now. Uh, not loads of it, as you can see. And I've only kept a couple of them because they're on my reread list. Uh, but that's my middle grade collection at the moment. This bit in the middle stayed the same. I just gave it a bit of a tidy up. Um, I'm going to stand up and then show you the other side. Okay, nobody needed to hear the noise I make when I stand up. And then this is my main shelf. So I decided to have historical on the left-hand side top shelf, my owl in the middle, and then I've got romance into cozy. So I've kind of got romance and Agatha Christie, then the Feline Detective Agency series, then some Richard Oseman, Legends and Lattes and Books and Bone Dust arcs, and then uh, Lord of the Rings, just there. Hobbit will also obviously join that corner once it uh, once the year is finished and it comes out of my top book of the year stack. Then I've got non-fiction in the next shelf down, and then below that I've gone for my Heartstopper collection, Laura Olympus, etc. Then we've got that stack here, which doesn't really fit anywhere, which is the um, Theodore Goss books. Then I thought I'd pull the hardback uh fairy tales etc up a shelf because you'll be able to see it behind me and they make a really pretty rainbow and then down at the bottom is my middle grade collection and the little love sign so yeah this is the the new shelves we'll see how i feel about it and yeah i'm glad that's done so let's do a quick outro um i am hot sweaty and tired although they didn't take as long as i thought it would it's taken me about an hour total although i now need to tidy up all the chaos around me because i've got like books that need to go in the unhaul pile i need to move some of the books upstairs to make space all that kind of stuff but my shelves are done i'm very happy about it i have ordered myself some lunch um as a little treat because i'm tired and that was a big job um, I will probably continue to fiddle with my shelves forever. I think most bookworms do, but I am happy with them for now. They feel refreshed. And do you know what I've noticed? I've got quite a lot of space. So I think it might be time to do some book shopping. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. If you got to this point in the video, leave me the book stack emoji because obviously I had to stack all of my books up. Uh, please subscribe if you would like more of this chaos and I will see you in the next one. Thanks everyone. Bye.